I am going to show you how to make a, wait for it, Ferrero Rocher chocolate hazelnut layer cake. Need I say more? Most of my recipes are really healthy and it's all about natural unprocessed ingredients. Well, this one does not fit into that category. This is a treat recipe and we're gonna enjoy it. The first thing we're gonna do is make a sponge cake. This is what I call my speedy sponge cake recipe. Use an electric beater, beat up pasta sugar, some vanilla and four eggs. Beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it until the mixture is really light and fluffy. It'll take about three minutes. Next, add some milk, melted butter, good pinch of salt, and sift in some flour and baking powder. Then use a large metal spoon to fold the two mixtures together until it's nice and smooth and evenly combined. I just realized that I forgot to add cocoa into the sponge cake, but I think I can save this, so I'm just gonna add a couple of tablespoons of cocoa to the mixture. Woohoo! We've saved it, we've got chocolate sponge mixture. Spoon the mixture into two tins that have been lined with baking paper. Try and get every little bit of mixture out. Bake them for about 15 to 18 minutes or until the sponges have risen nicely. I just want to show you guys my new chopping board because I'm so proud of it. Isn't it cool? When you're using nuts, buy your nuts from a place that's got a high turnover rather than being in the little plastic packets on the supermarket shelves because they've often been sitting there for ages and they taste a bit rancid. Blech. To make the praline, place some caster sugar, a tablespoon of water and a little squeeze of lemon juice in a really nice clean pan. The reason why I've added a tiny squeeze of lemon juice is that it actually stops it from crystallizing, which is very helpful. Have it over medium heat. Don't stir the mixture, but rather just swirl it around the pan to make sure the heat is all evenly distributed. So as soon as you start to see the edges becoming like a nice golden amber color, it will only be about a minute or two away. Now when it's that beautiful golden amber color, quickly add your sea salt and your hazelnut, stir that through, and then pour it all onto a piece of baking paper on the bench. You've got to work quite quickly here because the praline sets hard quite fast. Let it sit there for a few minutes until it's nice and hard. Heat milk chocolate and some cream in a bowl, either in the microwave or you could also melt it on the stove top. So you just keep stirring and stirring and stirring the chocolate and cream together and it will eventually all come together and look really smooth and glossy and shiny. So now we just want to get this milk chocolate ganache nice and cold so that we can whip it up. Wait till you see that. So this has only been on the bench for a few minutes. That's how fast it hardens. Kind of like glass, it's so cool. And you can finely chop it with a knife or you can blitz it in a food processor if you like. But what you're after is kind of like nice coarse crumbs. Mix about one third of the chopped praline with the cornflakes and we're gonna use that for a garnish on top of the cake which is gonna give it lots of delicious crunch. Look at this, nice light airy sponge. So you press it in the middle and it springs back. So when you're ready to assemble the cake, get your electric beater, whip up the ganache, it will go a lot lighter and put all of this air into it. It's kind of like a light fluffy chocolate mousse. It's really hard not to eat all of the icing just as it is. I'm just leveling out the sponge a little bit. Place one sponge cake on your serving plate or your cake stand. Drizzle it with half the cream or liqueur and that just keeps the cake nice and moist. And spread over half of the whipped chocolate ganache and sprinkle over some crushed praline. Top with the second cake, a drizzle more of cream or liqueur if you like and spread over the remaining ganache. Have fun garnishing it with some Ferrero Rochers and the praline cornflake mixture. You can also add some extra hazelnuts, maybe some shaved dark chocolate on top and you could even put a sparkler in the middle when you serve it to the table. That would look really cool. Look how impressive this looks. Everyone is just gonna go, wow. It looks really impressive, but it's actually quite an easy recipe. So there you go, dessert to impress without the stress.